Hello and welcome to Florian Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Zvezda's latest release. This is the 148 scale SU-57, which looks slightly like a certain aircraft I think the Americans might have built a few years ago that didn't quite win against the competition against an F-22. That's all I'm saying, not saying a word. Anyway, as you can see, beautiful box art. Very iconic jet, obviously uh, Russia's latest uh, fighter in the infantry. So you can see, uh, color call that's down in here, obviously for Tamiya and Zvezda's paint. Never used Zvezda paint, don't know what it's like. Uh, decals, obviously a nice big decal sheet as you can see down in the car. And then over on here, we've got uh, your kit number 4824. We've got a little bit about what else they do, some very nice stuff to be honest. And all of their details, as always, are on the back. Okay, and we get an idea of some of the scaling for this one. So it's 42 centimeters basically, so it's not a small kit. Okay, and then obviously some of the details just down on here. As always, being Zvezda, we will need to cut her way in and then force my way into the box. Okay, so, and we are greeted by, and this is a brand new kit, so I'm a little bit disappointed that this is literally just been sort of chucked in here. So, decal sheets. We've got parts just thrown in. So I'm surprised these are not bagged because they're in here rubbing around doing this face to face. So I'm amazed there isn't more gouging on the surface uh, of that one. But there we go, that's in. Then we've got clear parts, which again, there's big scuff marks on these. So a little bit disappointing. Okay, big curl crinkly bag. And then as always, we've got the various things and we've got other stuff flying around the box as well. So we'll just poke them together and then up out of the way. Okay, so on the old instructions, whoops, we've got stuff flying all over the place. We have standard way. So we do, I don't know if we do get the stand in there, we'll have to see, but it looks like we've got a stand version, obviously all powered down, and then obviously look at the control surfaces for the power down uh, and how it is in the up position. A little bit of blurb about it, as you might imagine. Obviously your parts call out, stuff like that. And as is tradition, we are straight into making the seat. So we've got the seat system being fitted down into there as well, okay. Then obviously we've got the cockpit details going in there. We do get a pilot, which is a nice touch as well. So we've got a little bit of detail going down in there. And then obviously cockpit tub being fitted up there. A few, and then obviously we've got the cockpit being fitted down into here. We've got, looks like a bulkhead being fitted into this one. And then I'm not sure what this one is here is E25 with a little forward arrow, have to see what that is. Oh, I see, it goes underneath here and it's this plate in the middle, okay, being fitted it, and these ones in the side, okay. Up over to the other side, we've got to open up a couple of the little slots being fitted down into here for this section in the middle. Again, interesting way that this is being done. I'm wondering if there's another version of this coming along, okay. And then obviously we've got the weapons bay being fitted. Oh, sorry, I get it, right, forget all of that. I just get what we're seeing here. The weapons bay is down here. You can either have it uh, open or closed. So this is an option. If we're gonna be doing it with an in-flight stand, you can't obviously have the weapons bay as being opened. I think that's what this is, okay. So technically that's what we're doing. Open up all the holes for the pylons if required, obviously depending if you're doing it with pylons or not. And then weapons fit being fitted down into this one. Full length intakes, which is a nice touch as well with those going down there. And we've got the wheel well detail. Again, you can do it gear up and gear down. Nozzles being fitted to the end. We've got the tail planes being fitted down into there. And obviously we've got the tails as well. And then obviously we've got the HUD being fitted and then glass work on the front. Over on to the other side, we've got these forward I don't know what you'd actually call them. They're like lyrics, really, but they're obviously posable. You can actually, they actually droop to give a more of an angle of attack and things like that. Clever little design. Okay, and then cockpit gear, and then obviously doors being fitted down here to the weapons base. So we do have four and a half weapon bays being fitted down into this one, and then pylons and tanks and various things you might imagine for stores on the outside as well as getting the gears fitted. So good job with all of that. And then last up, as I say, we've got a nice little boarding ladder, nice little touch to that one, or a stand being fitted, and then clearly all those decals, which are numerous by the, uh, the least. We've got a couple of schemes down in here. So this very nice digital scheme as well, being fitted down in, and obviously it's showing you the placement for all of the actual uh, walkway decals. Again, numerous on this particular kit right the way through, or we've got another version of that one on the back, okay? Depending on which one you want to do. 
doesn't look too bad. Decals themselves, well, there's not a lot of point getting these out. You can see what they are. So the walkway ones, as I say, lots of them down in there. All the rest of them look very nice. And as you can see over on this side, we've got some nice ones going down in there, some nice metallic ones, numbering stars, things like that right the way through. So again, nice detailed sheet. So straight into this business. So looking at the top, as you can see here, yeah, uh, unusual to have this. I assume, as I say, there's a reason for this, but there's a different version. Uh, Inverlite flight refuel, I assume, would have come off of here because it is the drogue system for it. But again, luckily for us, it looks like there's no damage, even though it has come off the sprues right the way through. It is that standard type of texture, unfortunately. It's got that real, yeah, plasticky texture. The entire plastic is very, very soft, very reminiscent of sort of uh, a Tallery's type way that they do it uh, and things like that. But generally the detail is all on here. Now, again, this is one of those things, I'm not up on this particular aircraft, so I can't comment, but it doesn't look like it's sort of composite, as in there's no riveting detail on this, but if it's composite materials, then clearly it wouldn't have it. So, uh, but yeah, again, it's one of those ones. You catch it in the light, you can see these details. I think by the time it's had a coat of primer and the rest of it, you will lose this texture. But this texture has definitely got a very satin-esque look to it. So you are going to need to somewhat smooth this out. So in some ways, it looks quite crude. Okay, and there we go. That's those. Inside, as you can see, you've got your tooling marks down in here. It's actually very nicely done. Okay. Then we've got the underside. So we've got a lot more going down in here. So we've got a lot of strengthening coming in. We've obviously got some details down in here for them. Uh, I'm putting all the ZVs in, but as you can see again, it's all here. It's actually quite nicely done. It's a shame it's not got posable um, sort of flapper on system on the back here and stuff like that. But there we go, you can't sort of have everything. Quite big holes as well for opening up down in there. Will well detail is completely non-existent. Something that we've seen with Zvezda really, um, but there's not a lot of detail when you get into the mix of it. it. Tends to be great for overall shape. Okay, and then we are into the giant bag. Okay. So I think if we start under here, we can sort of work our way through sprue by sprue. Okay, so as we can see on, um, this is a sprue, it doesn't say. Uh, sprue, I just, do you know what? It doesn't actually give a sprue name, I don't think. Could be E. Okay, but as you can see, some nice touches with this one that we don't have any ejector pins in the intakes, which is obviously always very, very welcome. Generally, all the details are very nicely done i can't really see any sink marks which to be honest with you i am sort of looking for but as you can see down in here we catch them in the light so nice job of those intakes the main gear so nose wheel gear looks pretty good all of the other sections down in here say cockpit and things like that we have to forgive them these day and age because there's nothing in there it's all touchscreen so there's not a lot going to be happening so yeah again Nice to see, obviously, on these intakes and stuff like that. It's quite a complex area, but we still don't get any problems with ejector pins, so there's none in there whatsoever. And obviously, this little one in here for opening up your stand, a nice, easy open-up stand and the port. But again, you can just about make it through, but I think once that's painted, you won't actually see that at all. Okay. Okay, so down in here, we've got the wheel well detail and things like that. And again, there's not a massive amount going on with this doesn't look too bad at all okay so instrument panel you can see just over here things like that we've got the wheel brakes the wheel wells themselves as you can see there's a little bit of ribbing detail but that's literally all that's to it okay and then main gear doors and again nice to see there's no ejector pins on any of the doors or anything else like that so that is all good okay that I do believe is a little bit of something looks possibly ladder that looks like it's broken. Again, that's the trouble when you get bags all in one sprue. They rub and then it's a bit of a problem. Okay, tailplanes, right the way through. Some nice detailing on those. Okay, ladder parts, as we were talking about. And to be honest, the ladder looks a lot finer detailed than it does on the instructions. The instructions, they look big and chunky. And even in the photos, this looks a lot finer. So that's a nice touch. Those uh, sort of lyrics extensions on the front, and then main gear, things like that down in there, just like that, okay. So next up we've got weapon fit and bay doors, things like that we're assuming down in here. So again, tons and tons of detail down in here, all these fins as well to put onto the missiles. So again, lots of generous bits in here. 
And then again on the blind side, it's quite nice. There's a jack pin, but only the one. This is that panel at the back. Actually, it does look quite nice. It looks like they've got them tucked away quite nicely. So it's nice to see we haven't got ejector pins on bay doors or anything else. They are literally all tucked out of the way, which is very, very good. Okay. <clears throat> this here's a dual sprue because obviously it's both the same. So we've got the flame holder for the afterburner back here as well. And then obviously compressors and stuff like that down in this one as well. So that's quite nice. Big old missiles down in here. We've got the fuel tanks. We've got the smaller R44s, things like that. Again, pretty nice details with all of those. The actual pylons and stuff, this is actually a very nice sprue because down in here we've got the pilot figure and he has got his visor up as well. So there we go, that's quite good. And the weapons pylons. So there's nice, good, sharp detail on these pylons as well, which is, again, really nice, no problem. So again, this one here we've got match sprue, so we'll link them together. And then last up, we've got the clear parts, which I'm hoping we're all okay down in here and again that's really uber uber crisp that's fantastic beautifully done and that's the problem with this kit how comes they can make the crispest clearest clear part that i think any manufacturer has ever done because that's really a complex shape and that's really really crisp yet the detail on the rest of the kit is a little bit mediocre at best you know, so, you know, there's absolutely no detail down in here in the wheel wells whatsoever. Yet on the part up here, you've got lots of detail on the back. It just seems a little bit odd. And then again, on this side, as you can see, there's hardly any texture. It's very, very muted. But on the top side of the sprue, it's proper flat. So when you do a side by side, you can see the difference. So it's one of these kits, and in some ways, I'm gonna do it again. It's very much like the Hind. You've got everything you would really need, but it's like they got halfway through it and thought, we need to save a bit of money here now, so we're just gonna fudge it a bit. So don't worry about any detail in the wheel wells. Don't worry about sort of detail here, there, and everywhere. We'll put it into certain areas, but not others. And that's a little bit of an issue. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, you know, been saying it for a long time now. The F-22, F-35s, and now we've got here a 57, things like that. They're modern jets. You're not expecting to have lumps and bumps and a super detail and rivets all over them, because clearly they don't. They're made of composite materials. They're designed for stealth they're very smooth there's no bits hanging off of them and all the rest of it i get it but in some ways you think that then they think well okay we can do all of that quite basic and we'll add a little bit more time into those details which you do see it such as as i say wheel wells and other areas onto this one and perhaps perfecting the outside shape to get it 100 percent all right and perhaps maybe just having separate bags for everything might i know cost probably another 10p a kit but it would save bits of them being snapped off just like that so that's a little bit depressing when you get into your kit especially when you open it up and you found that these halves have been rubbing each other up you know this is a brand new kit come off imagine what it will look like in maybe 10 years time if you come to it and it's gone from person to person and been thrown around you know still sealed box unfortunately the contents are all over the place just little things being a little bit picky overall though i have to say it's a very iconic aircraft obviously it's a new aircraft coming down the line it's the first one really that we've seen off of it in 48 scale it does look very nice even if it does look very Black Widow-esque. Anyway, that is Zvezda's latest release. It's the 148 scale SU-57. As always, it is available on the PM store, so if you want to go and grab yourself one, you can get one from there. Link's down below.